All right, it is OCG Thursday. Um, honestly, the second best day of the week um, because I know tomorrow is going to be one hell of a phenomenal market watch. And if you guys don't know, um, every Monday will be Metagame Mondays. It's the segment where I get to talk about what topped regionals over the past week. And we didn't do one last week because there was kind of only two interesting things that happened. And I didn't want to borrow videos from Lithium. I would rather just let him have the content uh, for what it was. Uh, every Thursday is OCG Thursday. And every Friday is <laughs> Market Watch Fridays. If you guys don't know about these three beautiful segments, um, the other four days are doing whatever the hell I want to do. Whether or not I'm sitting here drinking a bottle of water, ranting about what the fuck Konami's doing wrong or talking about what they're doing right. So, guys, very simple. Just like this video, tell me that you like OCG Thursdays. You'll be doing me a huge favor because I'll know I'm doing something right on this channel. Unlike all the massive comments I get calling me an egotistical crazy fat fuck that just puts four ads in a video for no reason. Sometimes life is very hard, my friends. Sometimes, sometimes. So, alright, so we're going to go straight into the point here this week. Guys, um, the first deck profile I wanted to look at uh, for OCG, this is actually a flashback. Um, we actually had a Dino Firewall deck. What was it? It topped, I don't know if it was Rumini or Toronto uh, from feature matches. I believe it was Rumini. Don't quote me on that, though. But it was a dinosaur deck abusing the Firewall engine. Now, the OCG had this back in May under their previous list, and I wanted to actually profile um, the deck from that point in time, uh, just to kind of showcase that sometimes we have similar ideas. So, uh, Triple Ash Blossom, Triple Little Baby, one Carbogenon, uh, one Dagaruru, uh, two Grand Zoil, two Manticore of Darkness, triple Miscellaneous, triple Petrodon, triple Oviraptor, triple uh, Venisher, triple Listochasm, and yeah, it's an Orgasm in one. Two Ultimate Conductor, one Alexandrite, one Chicken Game, triple Diagram, triple Fossil Dig, one Oracle, triple Set Rotation, and triple Terraforming. Uh, extract down here, one Deco, triple Firewall, one Pasty, one other Pasty, <laughs> one Beatrice, Excite Knight. Um, we have Cowboy, True King, uh, triple Brabble, Chocanine, and Tiger Mortar Side Deck, triple Draw, triple Ghost Ogies, triple Max. Uh, one Intra Blafnir, one Dark Hole, one Feather Duster, and Triple Twin Twister. Alright, so yes, the OCG is a long shifted ban list for this, but it's still important to understand where conceptual theories come from in this game. And I often find that a lot of people often, they, they see the deck, but they don't question how the deck's evolution has come about, um, other typical things like that. And one of the things I strive to do on OCG Thursdays is try to show different things um, and things like that. Uh, if you're looking for information on how to play this, just your standard Grand Soil Firewall loop. Um, I'm not exactly too sure how the interaction works. I actually watched my uh, friend play World Chalice yesterday. Um, he's been borrowing everything from me for the last couple of days. He went home, taught himself all the loops off of YouTube, and I didn't have a goddamn fucking clue what I was doing. I just saw Extra Link be performed, and I was like, oh, well, you know, fuck me. Like, I, I don't know what the hell your shit does. So, very, very standard um, Grand Soil uh, Firewall Loop for what I've seen that this deck can generate. So, there's that. And the next crazy thing on our list here is I, I, I've been seeing a lot of True Draco variants. It's almost like this deck fucking changes from fucking week to week. Um, this is actually a Monarch uh, True Draco deck that ended up topping in Japan. I believe it's finished third place in the tournament. Uh, so, triple Dynamite, triple Aether, <laughs> one Erebus, two Ghost Ogies, triple Ignis, triple Karaz, one Masterpiece, two Disciples, one Diagram, triple Dragonic Generator, uh, one uh, Pantheism, let's see here, triple Return, triple Tenacity, triple Stormforth, triple Heritage, one Prime, two Apocalypse, two of the Return, extra deck, nothing. It's fucking fresh. You can put whatever you want in. No, don't, don't fucking do that. Uh, side deck is Triple Maxi, Triple Vanity Fiend, Two Domain, One Feather Duster, Triple Metaverse, and Triple Struggling Battle. So, first thing you need to realize, um, essentially both of these decks are relying on 
<laughs> tribute summons. Um, one of the cool things is this card. Um, if you guys didn't watch Vrains, you probably wouldn't know about this, but uh, activate this card by paying 1,000 life points. During your main phase, you get special summon one Dragonoid token in attack position. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck um, for the rest of this turn. Also during the end phase of this turn, make your opponent special summon one Dragonoid to their field. You can only use uh, Dragonoid Generator up to twice per turn. So, you pay 2k, you get two tokens that will essentially grant you access to do what you need to. Um, with your extra deck. Now, you can argue that you are playing double field spells and you've only got one diagram. That's all fine and dandy. Um, your main premise of this deck is you're going to be setting up uh, just continuous monarch plays. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love playing the game on their turn? I mean, the OCG still has triple aether, for fucking god's sakes, which means when you are making your resolutions, you can set up for dynamite, um, ignis, roll what you need to do, and then you can roll out Aether, uh, depending on the opponent's turn. Um, one of the cool things, though, is, I mean, if you roll Masterpiece Aether, um, you'll just be able to rotate on whichever access that you need for whatever matchup you're really going for. That's one of the cool things I'm liking about the side deck down here with the triple metaverse and the domain. You can just roll the metaverse <laughs> into the domain and just cut your opponent out. Um, I didn't actually realize how broken metaverse was with domain until actually this video. The fact that you can just activate the field spell directly from your deck on your opponent's turn while you are controlling the tributes of a monster, I mean, you have plenty of tributes here, but not allowing your opponent to play the game is fundamentally one of the worst feelings uh, that we've really had in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's all possible because, hey, there's some sort of synergy here between these two fucking titans. So just something else um, I wanted to showcase. Uh, very, very interesting. I don't know how this would do in the TCG if we had more Aethers, but, you know, teach them. Our last deck I wanted to profile this week, this looks like something that um, some really weird person would come up with. Now, this is Goki Quantum. Now, before you exit the video and walk away, I, I do like to profile some of the more creative things that show up on this channel. I don't know what he was doing with some of the tech choices in here, but I kind of like what he was going for. So, uh, one Arcane of the World, one Edge of Sabres, uh, triple, or two Goki, uh, Rescorpio, triple Suplex, triple Twist Cobra, triple Alphon, triple Blue Layer, two Green Layer, triple Red Layer, and one Tour Guide. <laughs> God. <laughs> Bells, one emergency teleport, one foolish barrel, triple Goki rematch, uh, one one for one, one ritual sanctuary, triple scapegoat, one soul charge, triple uh, magna carrier, uh, two terraforming, and two jar of avarice. Oh my gosh. Extra deck, one decode, triple firewall, one Gaia saber, one Mrs. Radiant, two proxies, one trigate, one invoker, one of each of the megazords, and then the super megazord. So the first thing I'm going to tell you, before you look at this and shit on this, yes, kaijus are very relevant everywhere, but if you're trying to make this and win with it, sure. I believe the main purpose of this, and this is something that I've, I've been realizing more and more, is the fact that Gokis have the potential to have a revival card, to bring back two of their guys, um, definitely makes for more roguish choices. I think it's one of the cool things I like about Rematch as a card is just the fact that it's a monster reborn for two cards, which means you can do some rather cool things. Now, the Goki stuff itself isn't super exciting at the end of the day, but the fact that they have a revival card and the fact that they can, you know, basically bring themselves out and they're all fundamentally different levels, there has to be some sort of synergy with the Quantums. Um, I mean, what other archetype are you really going to merge these with at this current point in time? Um, the ability to special summon guys, revive them, and do as you need to do, um, it's its pretty self-explanatory. And I, I like i like the concept. The deck needs a lot of work. <clears throat> and, yeah. So, I mean, at least you could... If, if worse comes to worse, you have a third win con in your deck... You know, besides spamming good cards, I mean, you can just roll the world. I mean, as long as you get what you need to do, I mean, you'll be all right, right? So, one of, one of the crazier things I've seen come out of the OCG. I don't think this is 
a real deck at all. But hey, nonetheless. So guys, remember, like this video. You know, my blue shirt squad, you guys are the best. You know, we had Orange Robbie yesterday and the world fucking freaked out. Calm down. So tomorrow is Market Watch Friday. Uh, buckle up. We will probably have some interesting stuff. I haven't looked at the market since now. I'm, I'm already behind where I wanted to be today. It's already 10 a.m. I'm going to go get lunch here in a little bit, and i got to catch up on orders. So, All right, guys. That's all I've got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's OSG Thursday. Deuces. I'm out. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.